Yes, fortunately, yes. Uh, I did, uh, after that, after I got that award, I, opposite, as I said, Dobell lived opposite in, in Wanji Wanji, and I was at Warner's Bay, so I rode my bike round and knocked on his door and said, uh, Mr. Dobell, I'm Tom Gleghorn, and I, I would really love to be a painter. Uh, oh, I'm very interested in painting. I didn't say I'd, you know, I was, wanted to be an artist. I just wanted to paint some pictures. And he was very tolerant and very kind. Uh, and he spent a lot of time with me. Uh, but he spoke to me about the technical aspects of painting. He, see, Bill Dobell, he was, one of his teachers was Peter Wilson Steer, the English painter, English Impressionist. And Peter Wilson Steer had a link to Renoir. So Renoir gave Wilson Steer his, the vehicle that he used in his paintings to get that the richness of colour. It was an emulsion. Uh, third water, third turf, third linseed oil. You shake it up, it looks milky. You mix that with your oil paint and, and it, it works beautifully. Uh, it, 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 it's very difficult to make mud using that. Like most painters when they first start, they would make a lot of mud like I did. Mm. Uh, but he, he told me about this and this sort of intrigued me. Uh, then the next time I went round, uh, he was sitting, he always sp smoked and uh, spoke and uh, painted with a cigarette in his mouth. So he was always blinking his eyes, you know, with the smoke drifting. And he was sitting on the corner of the table and there was a Reeves, he could get a pastel book, grey paper. I remember they were ninepence a book. Uh, and he was just, we were just talking, and I, through his studio window, you could, it was Lake Macquarie, and uh, it was there that he, he painted Storm Over Wanji, and uh, there was a boat mo moored out there, and he just wet this brush, and with white, in a matter of seconds, really, did this lovely little gouache thing, uh, it was magic, it amazed me. And uh, the skill and cleverness, I was in awe. Mm. And uh, that was perhaps the greatest art lesson I've ever had in my life, that people were capable. Mm. There were some, some artists capable of doing that. Just look, think, down, and it was revealed. It was there. And I thought, gee, one day I'd love to do that. And that was the beginning of my self sort of training. But without, without Bill Dabble, I was never painted. Because over the next five years, I'd ride my bike round and uh, I went to, round to see him with another mate of mine, a young painter, uh, Terry O'Shea, who uh, didn't, didn't, he never painted again, and Ross Morrow, he was another aspiring young painter, Newcastle painter, and I went round with Ross Morrow. And uh, we were sitting on Bill's bed and uh, Ross, and we were talking to Bill, and Ross, uh, kicked something under, under the side of the bunk that he had in his studio and he pulled out this nude and, uh, and Bill said, I wondered where that, I'm wondering about that picture where it got to. Uh, he said, it used to be in the door. He used it as a mat to get into his studio and it was scratched and scraped. <laughs> the next time I saw it, it was in the gallery, the gallery of New South Wales, where they'd bought it for 90 guineas. <laughs> so,